going to say they want to get closer to you right. by adding another person into the relationship. But that was because a men, suggestion. they, they like to be It's that. a terrible but he, suggestion. But then That's you went out and did a whole bunch of wild stuff. Yeah, because yeah, because she had to. Because right. she had to find exactly. a boy. She had to be at the BDSM that. club? Okay, No, she didn't have to. <laughs> we <laughs> have guests. My name is Diara Kilpatrick, and this is the Diara from Detroit After Show. So I am joined today by my two beautiful castmates, Dominique Perry, who plays Aja, and Brian Terrell Clark, who plays Mr. T. Hello, what's hello. up, y'all? Hey, what's up? So can we talk about the beginning of the episode? Mm. That it just walk throws you right in, in right? with the three of us. Yeah. Can you believe it? Looking like a sexy 1970s power. My top knot bun Angels. was just top knot. Yeah. It's the giving, hat was hatting. It's yeah. giving black exploitation. And, and the music actually helps too. I yeah. mean, the music selections on this show is amazing. And the guest stars in this episode. The, the guest, guest stars. Like, cast doll. Yeah. What? And was, John Sally was John so great. Sally. In this yeah. I was so happy and proud that both of them agreed to be on the show because Cash Doll, obviously, she's like a Detroit mm -hmm. icon. And John Sally is a Detroit legend who was very famous when I was growing up as yeah. a real member of the Detroit Pistons. So we are halfway through the season. We find Diara and Moni with this backpack full of evidence mm -hmm. and a mission. And a mission. To figure out what all this means. And so Diara and her crew, they set out to prove that Deontay's old basketball coach is responsible for both of his disappearances. Mm. Which is a lot to assume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what? I don't know. I think that what Mr. T brings up, and in the room we always talk about him being the logical one. Right. Mm -hmm. Why would you disappear for two separate reasons? That's very unlikely. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. My favorite scene was definitely Swa's teacher lounge visit. It took me <laughs> out. It was just so well done. It's the way that y'all were just having the chemistry. It was strong, and the banter was just mm. amazing to me. I didn't even know, honestly, that Morris had it in him to be that kind of funny. I was going to say, was, like you, that witty. was you bringing it, was, it out of him, or was he bringing it out of you? Because that, that it was conversation at the timing, end the about delivery. the suit. Yes, the suit. That was my favorite thing. <laughs> I will give you this. If you stop embarrassing me. So I, I will try to stop embarrassing you. But you are the one who is picking out these suits. Oh, wow. Your mama gave me these suits. Oh, please. You a damn lie. Yeah, she did. This is one of my favorite things about DR and Swa is the way that they bicker, flirt, fight. And they yes. really get under each other's skin. Oh. And that's the that's the thing it's, where you wonder, is it over? Because that's why I'm somebody, swab. Yeah, it's kind of like y'all are. I know. I can see how you guys were attracted to each other just by y'all's chemistry. It is amazing. And it makes people want to be team swab, to be honest. Once they kind of see that scene and mm -hmm. like how y'all correspond and talk to each other, it's amazing. I love it. Okay, so y'all like SWA. Y'all are a SWAT team. Of course. We but swap. my favorite scene is the poker scene. Oh, that was so much it's fun. It's just so much fun. I feel like every episode is a little movie, and this is like our black exploitation movie episode, mm -hmm. and the poker scene just kind of exemplifies that. It just set a tone for yeah. this world that I think was, it's not only like getting into the like the underworld of Detroit, mm -hmm. but it's also cool. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. understand why like high rollers want to go into the basement of a barbershop. Absolutely. Yes. And then Diara is left in a, pinch when Swa cancels his chance. Yeah. And all the money she has is in her hand. Yep. And that's when you know she's about to go too far. And if she has this kind of bold theory of how she's going to break this guy. What do you think about this theory? Was it was it smart or was it asinine? I just love that it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I think it could have been smart based on, you know, all of the things that you were concocting up. But when it didn't work, I was like, oh my God. I was like, when is he gonna break? When is he gonna break? It, Cause you was coming at him with the insult. Playing tight for all that mouth. Don't worry about what the f I'm doing. Looking like an ashy ass milk dud. It's cool to jump to conclusions in life stuff like this. She's in a basement. <laughs> You're <laughs> like, like, I'm getting shot. Like yeah, things are getting yeah. crazy. It's, get, someone got shot in front of you. You're in a very high stakes. We all know the danger of being down yes. there. Mm -hmm. It's grills on the bar mm -hmm. from somebody's mouth that got ripped out. Mm -hmm. When does jumping to a conclusion go too far? When your life is in danger? Oh, I think we saw it in this episode. <laughs> a lot of the shows that I watched growing up, like Columbo, the detective would just go and hound somebody until they confess. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I think that's kind of what Diara thought she was doing. And then by the end of this episode, she realizes, 
oh, this is real life and the stakes are real and the consequences are real and... You were like, I need my money back. <laughs> you played that so good. That like, the, when they scene. were... <laughs> it was getting crazy. And you acted your behind off. Oh, and they was like, you. escorting you out. Well, not escorting you. They was picking them, you up them, and throwing you up out of there. Kicking. <laughs> them feet was going. I, I was like, ooh, I love it. I love yeah. it. What's y'all's favorite line of the episode? Still, the scene that sticks out to me is you and Swa at the school. Mm. And then... What was her name that kind of walked? She walked Low by. standardized test score having ass. <laughs> oh, that I love was it. hilarious to and me. And the fact that she walked by and like kind of like agreed with I him. I I was like, yeah, what? Like that. I agree. I'm with you. She I'm agree with, with him. I was like, what is happening? Was that improv? That the was low standardized improv. That was test improv. Score I knew yeah. it. Yeah. That was a great line. I was like, I'm gonna insult this. But I like, what's a teacher insult? I don't blame you. A low ass standardized test score having ass. My favorite line is probably where did Anita Baker lose her virginity? Oh, I, I did love that. that line. Auntie Anita, I love you. Like I was re I'm a little nervous that she's going to be like <laughs> um, keep my name out your mouth, Miss Kilpatrick. I used no. to sing background for you, Miss Baker. You did. And that's true. I, all I have to say is I had nothing to do <laughs> with that line. But, but wait, it's not I disrespectful. Just we just love you so much. I love I you love so much. She that's, probably would actually Don't she be tweeting? She tweets. She probably is gonna tweet where? I hope you don't. That Ms. would be funny. Miss Baker, if you tweet us where Just you lost your virginity Bestie, in Detroit, please. it might be a little too much for me. Wait, I feel like I feel like you should tweet it and just don't put any explanation. That's what just I just said. It, just yeah. say like backseat. <laughs> Girl, I know the city backwards and forwards. Second only to me. Where I need to make her lose her virginity. Something's wrong with her. If y'all had to choose a character that has the potential to be an unexpected suspect. Ooh. Who would you choose? I feel like my unexpected choice, I can't believe I'm saying this because I'm Team Swa, would be Swa. Mm. The only reason I'm saying no. that is because, but he, hear me out about your cousin. Yeah. He, what does he do for a living? He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. And he's working in Detroit. And I'm sure at some point, Swa had to do some things to get some things done. Mm. So I wonder if there's a world where potentially Swa could know more than we think he knows. Ooh. He also, he has, he keeps trying to get you to be quiet yeah. about this case. That's true. So it's well, like... Well, if that's okay, Aja was doing the same thing. Trying mm. to keep... No, I'm not saying Wait, it would be me. Wait, hold on, you about to tell us something? I'm not saying something? it would be me. So y'all a whole shady little family. The family, the whole, the whole Ooh, family? Oh, it's the family! I didn't even think about that. No. Well, anything can happen. <laughs> we will find out. Man, I love breaking down these episodes with you guys so much. Thank you for being here. It makes me feel like we're a part of the audience as we like uncover each piece and talk about each piece. So I hope the actual audience out there, I hope you guys feel entertained and inspired because at the end of the day, we really create this show for you in mind, for your entertainment. So join us next episode and we'll be right here waiting.